And one state that has been in the news at the inception of the COVID-19 in Nigeria is Cross River State. The controversy started from zero cases to accusation from the, uh, the NMA to the NCDC. But has the story changed now? Join us virtually is the Commissioner for Health in Cross River State, Dr. Beta Edu. Thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. As of today, Cross River State has 82 confirmed cases and just four active cases. Uh, this looks good, I, I would say, but can you quickly share your COVID-19 management strategy and what it has been like? Um, well, for us, um, Cross River State has done a lot of work as it concerns COVID-19. And um, you would also agree with me that um, the state has actually um, led not just the nation, but the globe as it concerns um, making the right decision on prevention of COVID-19. I'm sure you can recall that Cross River State was um, probably the very first state in Nigeria, Africa, even before the New York, before um, Germany and several other countries to say no mats, no movement. If you do not wear a mask, don't go to public places. And um, of course, we shut our borders quite early to isolate the state. Um, the state started recording its cases um, following, of course, the opening or the easing of the lockdown where um, the borders were open, flights were now allowed to come in and all of that. So far, we have 82 cases. Um, basically, for us, the idea is to continue to work with all key stakeholders to ensure that our people get the message. Yesterday, we were on the field in our campus sensitizing people. We're really solidifying um, the risk communication pillar. And of course, very importantly, um, we're doing community sampling, which would give us, and, and testing, which would give us a clear picture of what might be going on in the various communities across right. the state. Um, for Cross River State, the target is to see that we can reduce the fatality and indeed um, other comorbidities that are associated with COVID-19 in our DS states and reduce the spread of the COVID-19 in the state. Um, I think in my last meeting with the Minister for Health, he said Cross River State has a very high compliance um, to the use of face masks. We've been doing a lot of work with the Christian Association of Nigeria um, through all the churches. They have sent out their instructions. They have been going from one church to the other, constituting part of the task force to ensure that people right. adhere to it. And this has given us a very strong plus. And for people who are found um, to be negative, we continue to advise them on the right steps to take. For those who are positive, um, we categorize them into different um, groups. Um, the first group is those who are positive and they are asymptomatic. Um, they are managed at home. And All right. I, I, I also, I also want to... The digital thermometer and they're at home self-isolation. They're given the protocol and indeed everyone around them, samples are collected as part of contact tracing all right, and all hold on, that. Hold on, um, hold on, um, Dr. Edu. I, I also want to ask, um, how sure are you that there is no case or, or this is not a case of under-testing as alleged in some quarters? Uh, there's people who might feel like maybe you're not testing enough and that's why you're not getting any, you know, figures. I think Cross River State is one of the few states in Nigeria presently that is carrying out community testing. Every single day, people are sent into communities to take a random sampling. So we're not even waiting for suspected cases or people that might have signs and symptoms. We just identify areas which we believe that these people are prone to um, getting the disease uh, due to probably their location, for instance, those borders that those communities that are the border between Nigeria and Cameroon, um, we're doing a lot of work there to pick up samples from almost everybody in almost all the households. I'm sure if you go to look at the NCDC dashboard, you would agree with me that Cross River State has taken more samples than several states in Nigeria presently. We have tested more samples than several states in Nigeria presently. So we're doing that because we don't want to just sit down and say, because people are not voluntarily coming into um, the sample collection centers and the test centers to get tested, then we don't have um, those huge amounts of cases. We're going okay. out to actively look for the cases. And um, of on, course, on the average, what we have is a case of taking over, you can take about, let's say, 200 samples. And in those 200 samples, 
you get only two positives. All right. On the average, how many tests, you know, might be carried out in Cross River daily? Okay, so presently we've done a total of about 1,015 tests so far. And then it differs from day to day. But on the average, I would say at least a minimum of 78 would be done per day. Daily, okay. Is, is the Cross River State Government on the same page with the NCDC now? Or there is still some uh, discrepancy between the state government and the agency? Well, basically, we've had no problem with the NCDC. Um, uh, for us, what is is what we present, right? And we, as much as possible, try to do what is best for our people. At different points in time, we have uh, failed to agree with the NCDC on certain protocols for different reasons. I remember when the governor said, no mask, no movement, everybody has to use a mask. NCDC said, no, they shouldn't use masks and people should move in public places. WHO said, no, people should not use their masks and they should go out in public places. It took one month for the whole world to come to the same point where we were um, several uh, where we were several weeks uh, before then. So at different points for us as a state, we have tried to do what we believe is in the best interest of our people um, to protect lives and ensure that our people can equally protect their livelihood. Thank you so much for sharing with us, uh, Dr. Beta Edu, and uh, we look forward to speaking with you again. Um, remember to stay safe. Thank you. Sure. Thank you.